I read that you've you've experienced some pretty like mind blowing uh, hallucinations during some of these yeah, like, feats. Extreme. Can you can you describe well, some of that? I mean, first of all, I think Native American Indian. I think they sometimes practice sleep deprivation for the purpose of finding those hallucinations. And usually for me, when I'm 55 hours of being awake, no micro sleeps and no food and an extreme situation of duress, I go into these ex incredible but, but scary hallucinogenic states where your eyes are open because you're awake, you can't go to sleep, and your brain is trying to to sleep so you start having all these dreams and many of them are nightmares and dreams but you can't tell if it's real or not and it's unbelievable but it's very scary and whenever i do these endurance stunts i need very close friends and they, and they have to talk me through it because it gets really bad sometimes and you because basically what happens is your brain, your, your body needs to go to sleep. So your willpower is fighting your brain, but your brain knows that your body needs to go to sleep because the brain, the, the immune system, everything during those times, you know, that that's the most fundamental, most important thing that, that we have. I think, you know, sleep, breathing, yeah. water, right? So your brain is trying to convince you to go to sleep and how does it do that it takes your biggest fears the things that you fear the most and you start to see them all over you see it all over your body you see it everywhere what's that movie it's called in, bird it's, box it's with unbelievable Sandra Bullock? Oh, yeah. is that how that you get bird boxed yeah by yourself i, I don't i haven't seen it but it's a great but, movie yeah but it's, it's, it's it, it, but it's <laughs> so it's a place that i would never go without ex very careful supervision but that state is unbelievable there, well there's a lot of studies that that have shown that or or people believe at least uh theorize that the the hallucinogenic state that you're able to reach through sleep deprivation or meditation is actually far greater than any hallucinogenic state from LSD or psilocybin right. or, or ayahuasca. Anything, right. It's actually the highest level of hallucination. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.